Hello, it's me, Rach Face, back again for my life, my way, my face, buried in a book. And I am back today because I've read two books on my Kindle in the last 24 hours. And they're part of the same series, so I figured I'd wait until I read them both to do a review. So the first one I read, which is the Pocket can't cross book one by sue watts you know everything which is so cute like the cover itself is just so cute now these are quick and easy reads like like i said i've read two in the last 24 hours so they're really nice and easy ow um so you know everything is caden and keely's story their romance now they were they've been childhood friends and it's all about them coming to a point in their lives where feelings are coming out and you start to realise that perhaps their friendship isn't always what it has seemed through partners and love interests and flings and things like that. You sort of start to realise that, oh, maybe as the characters are also discovering, you start to realise and they start to realise that, oh, actually... Maybe we're not friends. Maybe there's more here. Maybe we could discover more, which is really interesting. So I really like the Caden and Keeley story. I love that they're WWE fans. Like, you don't find that a lot. So I really like that because I'm a big WWE fan. So I really like that. I could understand that part of it. And I love this bar one, two, three, this bar cafe. Like, I want to go and visit that. That looks cool. That just sounds like it would be awesome and it's also got amazing side characters so Caden and Keely and then you've got uh Keely's boss Nikki and Mike then you've got her roommate Amanda and Ted Ted's a different character altogether but you've got this whole like and nosy Jorge, nosy Jorge at the bar like oh my goodness like the characters that are in this story are just amazing and it's like oh my god I want to know more about you and then I want to know more about you and then I want to know more about you it's like I could go like she could make a story about every single character I think but Caden and Keely's love story and this whole book that centers around them it's really nice and it's figuring out that sometimes you find love in the most unexpected of places and that sometimes you do have to take a second look at certain things in order to see them correctly and I love that this one is like they've known each other their whole lives so they know the flaws they know the the flaws not the other what's the other word flaws the, the they know their strengths and their weaknesses and they see what they see like the strong suits that no one else sees so it's really sweet and really lovely and I really did like that about that so that's book one in the series. Then we have book two in the series, which I just finished, and I really enjoyed this one too. And this one is called You Know Every Line. So you're sensing a theme, you know everything, you know every line. If I could get it to, you know, show you the cover. It's okay, I got really angry at my Kindle earlier in the day because it deleted off my phone and wouldn't open. Do you know how annoying it is when your Kindle won't open? Frustrating. So you know every line. Why did we go to chapter 14? The issue of technology! I really want to show you the cover before I start talking about it, so... Give me two seconds. I can do this. You know every line. So I really like the, the covers because they're not... There is spice in these books, so they are 18+. plus, But the covers are so wholesome. And they don't really give away anything. Like, there's no... Like, I oh, don't get me wrong. I love abs on a book. I think that's all for it. Like when it's a spicy book, go for the spicy covers. But this 
is so lovely that it's not full spice on the covers. It's a wholesome love story on the covers. I really like that. So You Know Every Line, book two in the series, is so Achilles roommate Amanda. It is her story of her finding love and romance and trials and tribulations that she goes through because in the first book, spoilers, in the first book Keely has a small relationship with Ted, somebody who comes into bar one, two, three, and in You Know Every Line, Ted goes into the store that Amanda works at where she was measuring him for a suit. And it's about how he remembers her, doesn't necessarily remember her name correctly, but he does remember that he has met her before. And it's all about how he woos her and how their relationship begins. And I love that it delves into the fact that they sell Ted as this very handsome, very gorgeous man out of everyone's league, really. And I love that this book shows Amanda's doubts and insecurities. It doesn't shy away from them and that it lets her feel everything she's feeling. It doesn't push anything under the surface like everything she's feeling is brought to the surface and she's quite proud of how she feels and she's not sort of going to be walked over or anything like that and she's also very aware of this is my friend slash roommate's ex of sorts so there is an awkward sort of ground even though she's my roommate is now happily with somebody else that she's madly in love with still this is a person that she had a romantic and physical relationship with so how do I navigate that and it is fascinating to watch her navigate that it's also fascinating to watch Ted navigate that and how he sort of makes her see his side and what he sees and I really I, I quite enjoyed that part of the story I also quite enjoyed the fact that like this nosy Jorge character that is always at the bar and seems to know more about anyone's life than anyone actually in the story does. It's fascinating. He's got more insight than anyone. Like, can we have the whole story just based off him? Because that would be amazing. I would love that. But I would. I also really want to know more about, so this story introduced Josh and Topher, Christopher, Topher. Those two deserve a spin-off. There are own separate spin-offs because they're two completely different characters but oh my goodness I would really like to see that spin-off because they have such an interesting dynamic as friends with Amanda that it would be really interesting to see that sort of move forward and go on a little bit more but I both these books absolutely amazing about 18 chapters each so you know what, if you're just looking for something to get out of a funk or a slump, me, I have been having so much trouble picking a new book, so these were amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed them. Is it great? There has to be a third one because, oh my goodness, did she leave you know every line on a bit of a cliffhanger? Not, not a fan of cliffhangers in books when I don't know when the next book is coming out. So I'm going to need the next book to come out pretty soon because I am going to say that that one is going to be about the boss of the bar one two three Nikki and her love life and her endeavors and everything that's going on in her life so we'll probably get a little bit more insight into Nosy Jorge too at that point which would be really cool so um that would be absolutely amazing I'm really quite looking forward to continuing this Sue Watts is a new author that I had not been introduced to before so I'm very grateful that she has come into my uh, Kindle collection because it's a much needed addition to the collection but yeah I would highly suggest that you give them a read my Kindle's just completely it's rebooting itself I don't know what it's doing but uh, my Kindle just decided it didn't want to play anymore so yes no so yes no but those two are very much two that, so you know everything and you know every line. Big thumbs up, big 
give it a read. Alright, I will see you all next time. Bye!